Okay, so I've finished my uh, sewing kit. It's already 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, first off, all toys 10. I was hoping I could find a container around the house, you know, like, that would have a tighter seal than an all toys 10, but I couldn't. So I used an all toys 10. First, we see this. This is mainly just to take up space, but it's a piece of 4 by 12 inch piece of fabric. This is mainly just to take up space to keep everything in place, but it can be used. Uh, what we have, what we have, well got in here is, first we'll start with this. These are just a bunch of pins in a tiny little container. Some rope. Uh, this could be used for, like, you know, sewing it over to connect things together. I guess, I don't know. It took up space, so I put it in here. Um, uh, elastic band. Um, yeah. This is, uh, 12 inches, which will stretch out to 24 inches. And then in this, we have this little container right here, which has, uh, assorted buttons. It's got three buttons of two different sizes. And then we have uh, snap buttons. And we've also got these little um, hook things in there too. Sew them together and you can hook things. Uh, you pull them together and you hook them. And uh, we've also got uh, stitch witchery, which is like a glue for fabric. You put this between fabric and you take uh, an iron and iron over it. But I figure if I'm out there, I can just build a small fire, heat up a stone, and, you know, grab it with my hand or something and roll it over top of it if I have to. Uh, and then we got three bobbins of thread. We got gray for my pack, and black for my pack, just because I like to keep things uh, the same. And then for my, uh, um, stuff sacks, I have, like, a maroon color. And I have the same material that I use to make my stuff sacks. And I cut this into two by one and a half inch rectangles and two by three inch uh, rectangles. And this all fits in here nicely like this. And we've also got three heavy duty needles, sewing needles, uh, three different sizes. These are like really heavy duty, these things like are really hard to bend and stuff, so they're really nice. Expensive, that's for sure. And then pack it all up, we simply put the needles right there, put the patches right there, stick these right here, take these, stick them right there, take this, oops, put this in there, and then this goes right here, this goes right there. Stitch witchery, that goes right. Oh, hang on. That's why I don't like this stuff. That's one reason I don't like this stuff. It comes apart really easily. Start, starts unraveling really easily. So, we wind this up, or back up here, and then it just goes behind the needles, or in front of the needles, or whatever you want to say. Come on. Uh, I'm not to wind this back up here. But anyways, um, after I wind this back up for you guys, I'll show you how this goes. Sorry about this, but, uh, stuff is stubborn, so. I'm probably not going to get this back up, I think, without doing what I did the first time. So what I'm going to do is loosen it up a little bit here. And there we go. Maybe. Nope. Alright, well anyways. It goes right in here. Behind here. And then this goes in here like this. And you close it up. And there you go. Little one ounce sewing kit. It, uh, it, you know, carry this with whatever. I mean, it's got basically everything you would need to fix anything. I mean, you got patches, you got needles, thread, uh, the 
whatever it's called. You got rope pins, uh, little buttons and stuff. You know, you got basically everything you need to fix pretty much everything. So, but uh, that's, a, that's just what I wanted to show you. And uh, I'll have more videos coming up within probably the next couple hours. So, uh, talk to you then. All right, I'm out. Bye-bye.